Hi guys, what's happening? My name's Karath. I'm just talking about the CGPL Autumn Division placements. So, just going to be going over... I think there's just pretty much two major points. Which is pretty much... Or three major points, should I say. The one that I was very uh, upset about, should I say, at the time, was the playoff qualifier for Division 1. And that is very interesting because it's... It's the second playoff I think we had in terms of determining which teams to get into Division 1. But I guess with the breakup of Legacy it kind of is validated I guess so they kind of want the, they just want the best team in there and the other two teams do get to get into CGI so it's not just simply going oh you know if you don't make it you, you're out you're out of you can't play CGM CGI so that is a big change from the couple of previous seasons where I do remember there was a lot of overlap where teams they try to apply for division 2 they didn't get it or they tried to apply for a certain division which started at an earlier time and they couldn't make a decision to get into the in another division, I can't remember the exact reasoning behind it, but something like that happened. So that's obviously a big improvement. Invite, you know, there is an argument of one of the teams, no, a couple of the teams, sorry, should I say, not really being of invite level and that some main teams should be over them. I know there's a lot of th people throwing around CGM over CGI. I know I definitely threw out the CGM, CGI is a new CGA, but it's, it's not easy to select from the teams. It's, you have such a large pool now with all these teams who will go, okay, we beat these two other teams. Those two other teams will go, okay, we beat these two other teams. And then the last two teams will go, okay, we beat the first two teams. So you have kind of a cycle, which it's very, it's very hard to simply go, okay, this is definitely a number one team with an invite. They will lose 100% against any of the CGP teams, but they'll also win 100% against any of the CGM teams at any time. That's that's very difficult to do, especially against a best of one format. That's why it's a best of three format over over two months to kind of kind of go. Okay, well, these are the teams we believe are the best 24 invite and main. That's how they determine it, right? Let's put the rest of the teams that believe that they should be main level in CGA. And we'll adjust after the two months are over. Let's see which teams fracture, which teams don't fracture, which teams actually stand up, go further, and which teams don't. I think a lot of people go, consistency, where's the consistency? Myself included. But I think after just thinking about it one night, over one night, should I say, it's consistency doesn't come overnight. It's something that is built over time, which is what CG is trying to do at this stage. And they're trying to make it so, okay, we're going to have four seasons instead of two. Instead of more downtime, like downtime with no tournaments, there's going to be more tournaments, there's going to be more small tournaments, there's going to be so many other things that are happening. I mean, if we look back one and a half years ago, this is completely unheard of. Four seasons within a year with, you know, extra tournaments on the side, it's it's ridiculous. So it's, it's honestly a big step up. And I hope like a lot of the teams will also take this step up and go, okay, let's, let's perform at our best. Let's stay together and prove to ourselves that we can perform at a consistently high level. So for my closing off, I guess I'd like to say it's, I can understand the team's frustrations, but I, I'd ask you to please understand that the selectors do have a limited amount of spots. I've no doubt that if they had 36 spots, they would give it out to 36 teams that they believe would be in main level. Unfortunately, there were only 12 spots, but that creates the kind of, rarity and hunger you know now you know main invite it's going to mean something it's it's not simply just going to go oh these things don't mean anything it's going to mean something because if you play consistently at that level you're going to stay there additionally for all the teams that didn't make it into main you do the season is only two months long if you smash it out of cga and you retain the same roster i have no doubt that um the selectors will be looking to put you towards main there's there's no doubt in my mind a lot of the teams won't stay together, I think, after the first season, but that's, the system is kind of designed to weed out those which will not stay together. So, in my conclusion, best of luck to all the teams competing this season, and I hope that everyone stays consistent and just push ahead and try to push each other to the limit to improve. I should stop sounding so happily competitive, but that's just my nature.